Hi, today my subject is how to animate 3D objects. We have this familiar window actually and uh, Xcode and a single view application. We press next and uh, I'll, I'll, I will give it a name. Well, it's just a name, so it's, it's it's not an experiment, but it's it's just a name. Uh, but a three D exp experiment. Let me put three uh, D as well. And next, okay, I will create. Yes, it's created. And here we have uh, app that gets dot Swift and view controller Swift. Uh, so we will go to view control controller Swift uh, and uh, uh, import UI kit. Uh, right at the beginning, we would need to import scene. Under class, we would have to put our variables uh, because this major part of this video is already done, and uh, that is my previous video on 3D objects. So uh, you you would probably need to check with that too. So I, I want to be fast here and do the animation. So uh, and I will, I will uh, copy and paste a certain part, the part that is in the previous video. I would put, I would put my variables var scene colon this C and and this is you okay you, you would you, you probably remember from the previous video that we here have everything in terms of a node and uh, so the hierarchy the order has to be based on that idea and the second is bar camera colon i would need to put a an exclamation mark here and that 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 would indicate that this scene is an instance of sc and view uh, next is uh, Yes, and camera and node. Sorry. Yeah. Floor. Floor. Golden S. Yeah. Node. Next, we have light. If there's no light, we can't see things. Obviously, it's physics. Uh, light and scene node. Yeah. Now, now I will I will create two objects, two cones. Var cone. This is the first cone. 
and the other one I give it a number for code one uh, node. Yeah, well, these are variables. So the scene, the uh, camera, the floor, the light, and a cone and cone one. Uh, now in this section, in the uh, view did load section, uh, I have copied it already and I, I just, I hope, just paste it here. Uh, so you have uh, these codes. Uh, what's wrong with that? Uh, Okay, this one, yeah. Things the exclamation mark, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, I just keep uh, going back to to the previous video, and uh, because this is similar to that. And look, we have we have seen, and uh, uh, everything is like that, and um, also background, and I've. Uh, I put dark gray or well, the background uh, is going to be dark gray and uh, the camera uh, the light uh, I, I have changed this from the previous video that that was I think either spotlight or direction but this one uh, only uh, I mean when, when you get to this point then you have you have uh, options and so uh, or not ambient and I would, I would I would select only which would which would be like like sunlight and uh, uh, then I have I have chosen these uh, I have used these values simply uh, that is that is my experience kind of okay well there's there's an explanation for each of them and uh, uh, then the floor what well, geometry geometry means shape it simply means shape so when you have a geometry or floor that is the shape of the floor or when you have geometry for cone the shape so i would i would need to explain uh, this too i mean this is the position of the cone and again based on my experience uh, also uh, yes everything uh, is almost the same as uh, the codes in the uh, video on creating 3d objects and this part is also I mean it's important to consider this part because uh, because the question arises about the scene what is the scene what is the scene that we're talking about and the scene i mean the, you have it here obviously it's here in, in among the variable scene this scene what is this scene and this scene okay is defined the scene consists of the camera of the light on the floor cone one and cone cone and cone one we're here uh, in uh, view did load and under these uh, I would add two codes the uh, first code would be cone uh, rotation yes I have it here and uh, well this is vector 4 what is that we have vector 4 well, C yes it's here 
vector for well you 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 know what vector means it's used to refer to uh, to natural forces or uh, natural direction like light other materials that I mean objects that have uh, a direction and a magnitude so this is what is meant by vector by vector and we here we're here using that and uh, then open parentheses and x well I, I have it here already and again I'll give values 3 to this and 2 to y and 1 to z also 1 to w uh, you probably know that this w uh, represents perspective um, when we're far from an object uh, we have a different perspective compared to the time when we have when we're near that object uh, like uh, like a road that gets narrower when uh, we look at it from distance uh, this w uh, also plays a very important role in uh, 3d graphic and uh, representation the homogeneous vector really, that is the uh, the terminology that is used here and uh, uh, this by putting this code uh, we uh, give cone sub rotation like it would have this uh, coordinate I mean x coordinate and y coordinate and w I mean, the perspective next would be uh, one cone one again rotation and we have uh, yes also I give it minus three to x and two to y and one to z I mean they are kind of side by side and one again to this let me put it like this I mean, uh, I put one here because uh, it's just the, the normal perspective so if you if you give it a value less than one then uh, it goes uh, away from you uh, I mean the perspective if you give a, a greater value and greater than one then it just it gets scaled uh, so uh, so uh, I, I have the objects and uh, uh, I did write these uh, uh, codes, uh, giving them uh, some, rota some rotation. Now, after this, uh, uh, I, will, I will animate them. Uh, so, if if you run the simulator, let's let's do it. it takes a little time. Yes, uh, we have we have uh, the red cone and the uh, green cone and uh, the background and the floor. All of them are here. Uh, let's go back to uh, the codes and under cone one, uh, I, will, I will add. Uh, Spin uh, 
basic animation and key and stuff like this and this here rotation dot w yeah it looks fine and uh, Uh, now I would I would give it a two value only uh, spin two value I have it here uh, let's put three next spin duration and I would give it 10 like 10 seconds uh, well th these would mean uh, that we're going to spin uh, by, by animation here we're going to spin the cones and uh, uh, when you animate an object it starts uh, it's motion from a point and then it ends somewhere uh, on, the, on the x axis or y axis somewhere and so from from a value to a value and this is uh, calculated based on a formula uh, so uh, it is at the origin and uh, we do want it to uh, go from that origin to three I mean to uh, this point for the duration of 10 seconds okay a spin again uh, Or it should repeat itself. Repeat count. Let's so recap. Okay, I have it here. And I would, I would, I would, I would think of infinity is like something that goes for infinity. Uh, or you, you could, you could use H U G E. This, this would be working as well, but that means that means obviously infinity, infinity. Uh, that is just a, an option. Yes, it goes around, around, and uh, forever. And uh, uh, cone. Okay, now I have cone, and cone should be animated like I add animation and uh, that is it okay and this would be spin I mean the animation would be spin and this would be spin around about is this correct about yes it has to be in quotation marks spin around yes and cone one I mean cone is all is already animated now cone one 
again say code and spin also this would be spin around spin around yeah okay well let's run to see uh, what happens the cones are are spinning yeah it's it's the way in which we have programmed them um, I want to add uh, motions uh, more programming and uh, animation uh, so I would begin with let let move uh, up down animation basic animation yes it's here uh, parentheses open parentheses uh, keypad and string well, we hear this. These are key paths supported actually. Uh, what is wrong with this? Uh, correct. I mean, check the spell. Yeah. Uh, now, move. Up down animation by value. Yes, we have it here. And uh, equal sign. This and vector four. Yeah. X I would I would give minus one and Y uh, I would give four we give a space here and Z I would give one okay so we're animating the position actually that 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 is that is supposed to go up and down uh, next move up and down animation timing uh, timing function yes and uh, that is equal to CA media C A media timing function function name Let's see if we had the option name okay. C A Yeah. Yes, this one. Well, this is this is going to ease uh, something like when it gets to the end of the course, then the movement 
I mean, is uh, supposed to be easy, uh, so easy and easy out. Uh, it's just for uh, the smoothing, a uh, smoothing of uh, the motion. Actually, the uh, motion of the uh, cones that go up and down. Uh, next would be move up and down animation and alpha versus this I mean it's true it's simply true oh Uh, move up and down animation repeat count I mean it's just we want it to go on and on and to repeat itself somehow and output float uh, for infinity I mean yeah do you remember this before uh, move up and down animation and duration I mean one duration uh, the duration of the uh, moving up and down uh, and how about how we put four let's let's put four five seconds uh, yeah this is the code and now it has to be applied to cone and cone one so I put cone and well, let's see what's wrong with this. Uh, okay. Let's add uh, animation. And animation move up and down animation and for key and well, quotation marks uh, up down up down yeah uh, this would get repeated for cone 1 so we would only need to copy and paste copy and paste and change cone to cone 1 uh, but I can see a problem which would prevent from uh, running uh, the application smoothly and that has to be with this uh, this has to be probably three yeah yeah I'm right so when you have I mean we here have just three values and so it has to be like there's three yeah now if we if we run the application 
Uh, we will see the cones spinning and moving up and down. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, they are spinning and moving up and down. And I think we would probably need to make small changes. Like, uh, I would go to uh, floor and turn this to dark gray. Uh, as, as though it's... Uh, it's uh, night time, the hot gray. Yeah, and thing is that I think the uh, uh, green cone, uh, the position of the green cone could uh, be changed a little bit. Uh, So, yes, it's a uh, cone one and it is green. Uh, so, let's turn this to five or four. Okay, let's see. what happens now. So we want the green cone to be near the red cone. Uh, it's far from that. So we can't see it in the application. Yes, yes, we could probably make more changes. Uh, turn this to three and also uh, cone position, which is here, the uh, red cone. And this, let's give it five. Okay, yeah. Uh, now we will run for the last time. Yes, it's better. Not ideal, but it's better. Thank you for watching. I will see you next.